Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's lesson, we'll look at the concept of relative velocity. I will explain what is relative velocity and the SI unit for relative velocity. At the end of the lesson, I'll use this example to explain how to solve questions relating to relative velocity. Now, before I get started, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel. I woke up like two days ago to see that we've done more than 200 subscribers. So you've told you to, you love what we're doing and I am grateful. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell. That way you'll be telling you to, you love what we're doing. That said, let's get started. Now, if I have two cars, car A and car B, the relative velocity of car A to car B is VAB. Now, this relative velocity is actually the difference between the velocity of car A with respect to car B. Now, what relative velocity does is it compares velocities between two moving bodies. Now, if I am saying the velocity of car A with respect to car A, car B is VAB, that means is equals to VA minus VB. Now, when we are moving and I'm talking of the velocity of probably car C alone, that is, I am comparing the velocity of this car C to the velocity of the art. Why will I why will expect that the art be stationary? We say car C is actually moving with velocity of what C. And the velocity of the art if it's stationary is zero. So we say the velocity of car C is VC. Now, let me explain this. If I have two moving objects and these two moving objects are moving in the same direction. If I have car A or body A and body B moving in the same direction, the velocity, the relative velocity of car A to car B will be the same thing as VA minus VB. But if I have these two objects moving in opposite direction to each other, now look at it this way. I have car B and I have car A and they are both moving at opposite direction to each other. In this direction, if I call this my positive direction, this will be VA, but if I call this other direction my negative direction, this becomes minus what? VB. So the relative velocity of car A to car B will still be given as VA minus minus VB. So that this becomes VA plus VB. So that if you have, as a rule of thumb, if you have two bodies moving in the same direction, the relative to find their relative velocities, you subtract. But when you have two velocity, two bodies moving at different direction, to find their relative velocity, you do what you had together. Now look at the, the SI unit for relative velocity is still meters per seconds, or you use kilometers per hour. But the SI unit is actually meters per seconds. Now with this, let's give a trial to our question. Now our question says that the velocity of a car a relative to a car B is 15 kilometers in the direction of 45 degrees northeast. Now, the velocity of car A, now let's take car A. Car A is standing at this point and its velocity relative to car B is at 45 degrees. This is a knot. I'll take that to be knot. Here's 45 degrees. That means car B now stands at, at this point. Now, if I have car B here and this velocity is 15 kilometers per hour. Now, this is point. Let's, let's tag this A and this is what? My B. Now, the relative velocity, the question now continues, if the velocity of car A, if the velocity of car B, sorry, this is car B, sorry, if the velocity of car B is 30 kilometers per hour in direction northeast, now car B moves, takes its own velocity in the direction northwest, 60 degrees northwest, 60 degrees northwest, 60 degrees northwest. This is 60 degrees northwest. Here is still my north. Between northwest, 
car B is moving at 60 degrees. Determine the actual velocity of car A in an its direction. Now, if this is A, that means I should have A in this form. Now, this is car A. So, this is my VA. Here is my VAB. And here is my VB. Now, from here, if you look closely at this, here this way, you have here to be 45 degrees. Automatically, what you have under here will also be what? 45 degrees, alternating angles. Now, since what I have in here is 90 degrees, the remaining inside here should be what? 45 degrees. Now, if I have 60 degrees in here, that means what I should have left here, everything here is 90 degrees. What I have left here should be what? 30 degrees. So the total angle I have here now is what? Is 75 degrees. Now, let me redraw this triangle. So what I have here is 75 degrees. Here is V, A, B. Here is V, B. And here is V, V, A. Remember that if here is V, A, B, our V, our V, A, B is given as 15 kilometers per hour. It's given as 15 kilometers per hour. Our V, B here is given as 30 kilometers per hour. Now, to find VA, we can use cosine rule. Cosine rule from this triangle will be VA squared will be equals to VB squared, VB squared plus VAB squared minus 2VB, VAB cos 75 degrees. Now, that's equals to 15 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 into 15 into 30, 75 degrees. Now, so this is equals to 900 plus 225 minus 2 times 15, that's 30 times 30, that's 900 cos 75 degrees. Now, if you put this together from your calculator, you should come to VA to be equals to 29.87 meters per second. Now, if this part of this triangle is the same thing as 29.87 meters per second, obviously, we have gotten our VA at velocity of car A to be 29.87 meters per second. We can now use, we can now use sine rule to determine this angle in the circle in the triangle we can use sine rule to determine this angle in the circle in the triangle and invariably we did be able to determine what is left in here which is the angle at which which is the direction the angle at which the velocity of car a moves now let's see you know if from sine rule can you let me redraw this triangle now i have this triangle this way have it this way. Here is my 75 degrees. Here is my unknown, which we want to look for the angle at A. Here is 30. Here is 15. I think. Let me see. I think I'm right. Okay, that's 30. That's 15. That's 29.87. And here is 29.87. So that from sine rule. In case you miss a lesson on sine rule and cosine rule, we'll include it in the description below. From sine rule, the sine of, from sine rule, 29.87 over sine of 75 degrees should be equals to 30 over sine A. Now, so that if you cross multiply, sine A will now be equals to 30 cross multiply, we cross multiply in this way. Sine A will now be equal to 30. Sine 75 degrees all over 29.87. So that sine A, sine of A from my calculator is automatically equal to 0 0.9701. And A, sine A is equal to 70 sine a 
so that a the angle at a itself the angle at a now is equals to 76 degrees now if the angle at a is 76 degrees if the angle within If the angle here is 76 degrees, if the angle here is 76 degrees, obviously my A that I assumed in this quadrant actually fell into the other quadrant because here I have 45 degrees already. My 76 degrees would have fallen into the other quadrant. So that the angle at A. So that the angle at A now will become 76 degrees minus 45 degrees, which is equals to 31 degrees. So that the angle at A is 31 degrees north west. 31 degrees north west. So that conclusively, the velocity of A is 29.87 meters per second, acting at a direction of 30 one degrees 31 degrees northwest thank you for staying with us and we'll see you in our next class